Was this girl supposed to grow into an extremely unlikable person in the last 30 minutes? Because that's what happened to me. I just saw a cat person, and I might get into spoilers later on. This is about a college student who meets a guy who's a customer at the theater that she works at, and they start going out. I really liked the first half of the movie. It was captivating to watch a woman ignore all the red flags while seeing a guy. It was kind of relatable. The guy himself isn't a bad person but may have hobbies or quirks about him that could be off-putting. This story is about lack of communication with someone you're not compatible with. My feelings towards the girl and her personal choices left me very conflicted. I want to cut her some slack because the character is young but it was puzzling that she was intimidated by someone and his possible anger or his off-putting gestures. Like when he smashed the ant, she automatically thought, oh my god, he's probably a violent person. And I just felt like she was kind of like overreacting 50% of the time. It really didn't make sense at first why she was even dealing with someone who she didn't feel safe around. And then her character made a comment later on about how she liked him when they first texted. And I can kind of relate to ignoring all the things I don't like in a person in hopes that the one thing I do like shows up again and stays. It was amusing to see her do mental gymnastics in order to justify the fact that they weren't compatible. It's funny how basic communication can be so excruciating. Also, I did like how they called out the extreme feminism. It does a great job expressing how feminism has a lot of good qualities, but it can also be taken so far that it ruins any potential relationship you might build with someone. It can make you an unsavory person to be around. One extreme is not better than another extreme. Now, on to the second half. It took a weird turn turn for the worst. In the first half, it's realistic and entertaining, and then the second half transforms into a cat and mouse thriller. I wish they had stuck more with a grounded story. Both these characters make very bold, unreasonable choices, and both are crazy and irrational in their own way. I was actually thrilled when she got pepper sprayed by her own mace. She was so irritating at this point, and then the guy got stupid himself just when he started to seem like the same one. If I was him, I would would have maced her and called 911 for breaking into my house and that would have been sweet revenge for leaving that nasty text message. On one hand she got what she deserved, on another hand he shouldn't be dating a 20 year old. To all the women out there, please learn to speak up, stop ignoring red flags, and to all the men out there, stop dating college students when you're in your 30s and 40s. This is not nature, this is not natural, this is not biology, this is just you not being emotionally mature enough to date someone your own age despite having a good job being a nurse. You need also men need to pick up on body language because it was very clear throughout the movie that this chick was not having a good time and someone who does have a nursing job and owns a home should be able to take a woman out on nicer dates. Also I wish women would stop treating sex like it's a reward for something and start having sex because they want to have sex because they're generally turned on and attracted to the person and have a connection even if it's a shallow connection and a one night stand type of thing only have sex when you actually want to have sex only do things when you want to do it I get the whole awkwardness but it's like if you're going to someone's house you know beforehand you're going to someone's house it doesn't make sense to suddenly be too intimidated to say no and change your mind. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, don't go to someone's house. You're afraid that they might react in a violent way. Overall, I give this a 7 out of 10. I think there's responsibility on both sides, and I do recommend.